everyone. How are we all doing on this Saturday night? I actually thought it was Friday when I was writing out the description for this video. Happy Saturday. We are cruising around Fremont Street. Not in the biggest hurry to get underneath the canopy, though. We're going to walk around this way. What's up, Daniel? Where you at? Oh, there's probably a few people that can tell where I'm at just by looking right now. No breakfast, what's up? Hey Karen, what's up? How's that life in Summerlin? Simply me, DR, damn, sorry, by Atomic? Maybe. Oh, there you go, Daniel got a Sergeant First Class Robinson. <laughs> what's up, man? <laughs> I like that. Change the name, Sergeant First Class. No breakfast. How did you like Resorts Mall? <laughs> That's kind of what it felt like, right? People, people were saying a, a shopping mall with a casino in it. A little different feel. I'll go there a few more times, get a little better feel for it. Randy Amores says, hey, Jacob, what's up? Nah, you know, let's go this way. After all that waiting right there, I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna change my mind and go this way. Oh, piece of a brick in the road. That's not good. Marcela says, Hola, buenas noches. Como estas? Todo bien. Todo bien. En la vida de Jacobo. ¿Y tú cómo estás? Maybe this is hey hey. Sherry, what's up? Haven't seen you in like, I don't know, a week. Another brick for the wall. Yeah. What's up, Robert? Karen says thanks for streaming from down under. You're welcome, man. Mary, what's up? Says hi Jacob, Portland, Oregon 106. Now Sunday 115. Is it really 115 in Portland? Isn't that a little too, isn't that a little too hot for protests? Bien, gracias, regresando de Oklahoma, viaje de trabajo. Fuiste a Oklahoma para trabajo? Wow. Didn't expect that. Is the Rancho trip back in longest video to date? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, definitely. Because that was like damn near six hours. I thought it was even longer than that, but. We did lose signal a few times, so I don't know, maybe that did throw off the actual time that YouTube tracked. But, uh, um, what was I going to say? Shit, party over here. Nice, we're doing live music over here tonight. It's gonna be every Saturday. Winston, what's up, man? How's that life in Canada? Tim 
all is good. Luigi used to live in Cucamonga, the San Bernardino County. Public us right over there. That's a cool coffee shop for the locals that the locals go to. Alright, let's head back this way. Going by the new resort. I was just there last night. I was there for about an hour and 20 minutes on my stream. Ah, it's your birthday, Mary. Well, happy birthday. <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. Well, hey, congrats on the promotion, Sergeant First Class Robinson. Man, you'll be back to Oklahoma soon. You'll be back stateside. You'll be out of Korea. Sherry, this area doesn't look familiar. This is, this is Fremont Street, but we're just a little farther east. That's all it is. So down, heck. You can actually see sign for Fremont East. You just keep going down a little farther. There's the canopy. You can even see some of the hotels over there. So we're just a couple blocks east. That's all we are. Atomic Liquor is a very popular bar over here in downtown. Money be good. First of all, cool name. Second of all, thank you for the dollar tip. You are the first one tonight. So thank you for getting the party started with the dollar. Melissa, what's up? Next is your wife is baking cookies. That's awesome, man. <laughs> hey, the goose isn't rotating today. Yo, what's up, Mark? How's life, man? It's effing hot around here. I just paid $2.44 for a chapstick because I thought I had one with me, but I didn't. And actually, $3.44 because I had to sign for it and I paid with my credit card and I gave the cashier a dollar tip for the uh, $2.44 chapstick. I figured the cashier doesn't get a lot of tips, so... It's like, uh, I'll throw it on there. Goods, what's up? It's inflation, I know. Way back in the day. I may have ever taken you guys down this way before. Let's see if anything interesting happens. Mark Ramos, $5. It's fantastic. Love the streams. Be there next weekend. Nice, man. That's cool. You guys can see the strat in the distance. I hear people chatting, hear little voices. Let's see. Let's see if we can just take a nice leisurely walk this way or if we potentially run into any life-threatening situations. Casinos on Fremont are generally considered to be more generous than the casinos on the Strip. Typically, you're known to get more bang for your buck on Fremont. Mesquite Slap Player, your mother in law said eggs are four bucks in Massachusetts now. Damn. Is this area okay after dark? Well, we're about to find out. Now you're probably okay right over here. I mean, you can definitely see some of this is old and run down. Like you can tell these apartments right there, this apartment up here. But here in downtown, it's kind of a mixture of, like, even this, this house right here has probably been there. <laughs> Look, I'm just guessing 50, 60 plus years. So you have some older homes that have been here and things for a long time. Then you also have like new stuff that's been built. So you kind of have this mishmash of old and new over here. Canadian girl, I did a live walkthrough last night at Resorts World. I did, I did, I did. Is there a stop? Well, I'm crossing, so don't hit me, Californian. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, 
Head to Vegas, July 25th. Hey guys, you can, you can live right here. You live right by the D. Okay. Going the wrong way? Are you sure about that, Matthew? Gladys, what's up? I think I haven't seen you in a minute. Maybe that's why it was so peaceful around here. Hey right, guys, we'll, we'll, we'll cut over in just a minute. Don't worry. I'm just taking you guys around a little bit different area. in Phoenix right now man it feels like it's warmer than that here the pioneer looking at please the Turnberry place well Turnberry place and Turnberry towers are both known for being really nice um, nice properties so I think John Gruden lives in one of those two so I mean you are gonna be at the north end of the strip so some people like the area, some people don't. That area outside of that is not known for being the greatest, but obviously those properties themselves are very nice. So I guess it also just depends if you like that lifestyle, if you don't mind living on, you know, the 18th floor of the building. They do have a uh, gated entry. They do have a guard who checks IDs and checks for people that are on any, uh, you have to put somebody on a list if they're gonna come visit and that kind of thing. They usually have, they have super nice, Workout facility. Um, I think they have one of them. I think they have like a ballroom or like a big uh, just room you can rent out for events and that kind of thing. All right. Well, we'll keep cruising. Let's see. At least you can tell. Like I was saying, some of these buildings are older, but look at this right here. Look at this. This looks, doesn't just look new. This is definitely, you can definitely tell this is new right here. See if this is new, you can tell right up here, this is newer. But then as you look right over here, this is older. See, we'll walk in front of these homes here and you can tell these homes are definitely older. Who it is? You think it's that bad? You think it's that bad over here? <laughs> oh, Gladys, I'm glad to have you back. Knife Bridge School. So, I think many years ago, this like was Las Vegas. <laughs> like living downtown here, there was no Summerlin. There was no. Uh, there was no Anthem. There was no Mountain's Edge. There was none of that. Many, many years ago. Party! Yeah, somebody's having a party back here. Shit, they got the Coors Light and everything. <laughs> they even got a guy like, I don't know. Writing on tickets. I thought he was checking IDs, but he has a pen in his hand, a marker, so I don't know if they're 
Actually got like wristbands they're giving out or something for entry to the entry to the house party. But Yeah, like you can see so some of those newer homes there you could tell like this one right here is older the last few houses we walked by have been much older oh this one looks like it was actually remodeled all right guys we'll head back towards this is what i don't think this person knows where to go just barely escaped from that three-person gang <laughs> okay. Imelda! Hola! No driving today, only coming on though? Yeah. Although, I don't know, right about now, I kind of wish I was driving because it's freaking hot! That's a color, that's a color, that's a color! This place looks a little sketchy. I mean, it's just a couple little apartment complexes next to a parking lot. And you can tell this building right here is newer just by looking at it. JG Birch, you find these neighborhoods interesting. <laughs> I don't know, like this. I mean, this is a newer looking building, wouldn't you guys say? So you said downtown is just kind of a kind of a mishmash. That's a good question, Nick, on the average rent. Melissa, what's the average rent in Las Vegas right now? Who are my locals that want to chime in? If you want to give a guess, because obviously Certain parts may be a bit more expensive, right? Obviously, your Summerlin versus like North Las Vegas would be cheaper. Heck, the Mountain Boulder Highway would be cheaper. The boys say 1200 1600 for a normal house. I wasn't there, Gladys. I was not. I went there last night. Neil, what's up, Neil? Most of it depends on where you live. That is true. As verdad. As verdad. Hey, sometimes you have other things that are more important. That's all. Lake Las Vegas has high HOA dues. That's probably Celine Dion's fault. Just kidding, just kidding. I have nothing against Celine Dion. Although I had a teacher in high school, he really did not like Celine Dion or Oprah. Eduardo, hot Las Vegas? Yes. Claro que si. This is the average rent in Vegas, about 1200 Over two grand for a three bedroom in North Las Vegas? Where? Seems a bit high. To get some water while I'm walking around too. Necesito agua. Vámonos por acá. Oh, tengo un poco sed. Water, water. If I'd paid like three and a half bucks for a chapstick, I can definitely pay nine bucks for water. This is 
Agua Morales with beer. <laughs> Sherry says she hit the like button. Did you? Did you guys? Definitely not. Unless my math is incorrect. 97 likes, 284 people watching is not very good. Or else I gotta go back to sixth grade and redo math. Which like number were you? Everybody in the comments section, hit the like. Which like number were you? And don't lie to me. I don't want like 15 people saying, I was number four. I was number four, I swear. Daniel's number two. Corporal Hicks, well, welcome, man. But I feel like I've seen your name before, though, Corporal. Have you been on the channel for a while? Just don't comment that often. Where you want to be, 85? Winston, you don't remember? Winston. Sorry, I know you work with a lot of numbers, man. Marcella, less than 20? I like that. Marcella gives a range. Just like, like when you're in, I don't know, the sixth grade, you're learning math, you're learning greater than, less than, or equal to. You're like, you want the open, the mouth to be open towards the bigger number. <laughs> Who remembers that from school? <laughs> Intel, uh, what's up? Marcel, how about we give this? We'll give you 17. That's a good number, 17. Jason says less than 200. You jerk. Of course less than 200 because there's less than 200 on here. You're a wise guy. Trust no one. Hello, hello. Where have you been? Besides living the dream in New York. Yes, I do. I know. It's all right. If I were you, I'd, I'd rather remember all those numbers when it comes to trading futures as well. Hey. You guys probably can't hear. They're playing just my imagination. Joseph, how's it going, amigo? Going good, man. Cuidado, claro. Ooh, dark alley? Not really. Look at all this light they put back here. All this light, all these, all this painting, all this artwork makes it look about a million times better. Web surfer guy, five bucks. Hope this covers the chapstick. <laughs> the Vegas ghost tour video? Uh... Hmm. That'd be interesting. I'm sure I think I would do that. I mean, I really don't think we're going to see any ghosts. Ah, a lizard. Well, this is new. I haven't seen this the last time I was back here. Alleys at dark. Clown Hotel, I think that's three and a half hours from here, isn't it? It's a bit of a drive. This is new, but it looks like it wasn't here too long before people just started writing on it and shit. Unfortunately. Tish Rigo. Five bucks, thank you, Tish. Or Letty, as you appear to be called now on Instagram. Tish, Letty, Letitia. Any, any other aliases I should know of, Tish? Tonopah, yes. Yeah. Isn't that three and a half hours from here? Uh, Is it an abandoned brothel? Man, I have to probably go to like the middle of Nevada for that. George Masuda, five dollar tip. Thank you, George. Thank you, thank you. Ghost tour. Here's here's a question for you guys. How many of you? All right, let's talk about this. Ghosts, demons, spirits, whatever term you want to use. 
Do you believe in them? Yes or no? Are they real? Yes or no? You guys tell me. Yes? No? Real or bullshit? This is no. This is no. And quite a few yeses. Some no's. So just believe it when you see it. Yes. Government hoax. Brujos are real. Ask Zach Bagans. Yes, real spirits. Undecided. Never seen. Yeah, never seen it either. I've seen some crazy shit, but never seen a ghost. I worked at. <laughs> she goes to the lizard. <laughs> I worked at a. Uh, one for sure. I think there was another one. Place where it was a business I'd worked at where they were like, there's a ghost, there's a ghost, I'm sure there's a ghost in here. I remember it was one o'clock I worked at. Did she say get in? Not get in that car. One club I worked at in San Francisco, people were convinced, some of the staff, that it was haunted. I would be by myself in that club, having to shut all the lights off and close it up before we left for the night. And I would be, all the lights would be off, I would walk through and I would stop and listen, I wouldn't hear crap. So I'm like, yep, I don't believe in your ghost. Or your ghost is scared of me, one of the two. Greg Capella, $20 tip. Thank you, Greg. It says, walk on, my man. Oh, I appreciate it, Greg. Thank you. Heck, damn, Greg, you're half, you're half, you double the amount of tips for the night, dude. <laughs> Thanks for the 20, man. Hope life is going well on the strip. Okay, playing Adele out here. My bad, this is not Adele. This is uh, John Legend. I gotta admit, it's kind of a nice change of pace from the bucket drummers. Oh yes, thanks Melissa and Olivia for the reminders. Olivia, you got the Patreon. Is Braun here? Did Braun disappear on me? Well, if Braun's here, then he's got Instagram and Twitter. Melissa, I don't think Amara is here, so you got the money. You got the money if until unless Amara shows up. Tim says, let's find Jacob his next cougar. You know, man, sometimes they just find me. Celestial soul. Hey, hey. I did not get water yet. I got to get water soon. Sure, I stay hydrated. All right, I'll go get a water here in a little bit. Actually, let's go into Walgreens again. I was gonna wait to cross the street, but Walgreens will do. Oh, and they play an instinct from back in the day. Before, before Justin Timberlake became the founder of Napster and got arrested for cocaine possession. on 4th of July? I don't know. 
I don't know. All right, we need water and Cinnamon Toast Crunch. No, we don't. We don't need Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's not good for you guys. Lots of sugar. Is that guy staring at me? Is that guy following me? Tom Creer, $20 Canadian. Let's see the bye 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 dance. Hey, I'm pretty sure I tried to block that out of my head when I was about 10 years old. So, <laughs> thanks for the 20 bucks Canadian, man. Dude, there's not a lot. Look at this. COVID 19 vaccinations are now available. Man. Man. Better have your supplies all set up if you're a prepper. Dude, there's not, not a whole lot to choose from. Why is it like not even cold? What the f? What's up? What's up now? I'm just here to grab a water because I'm getting dehydrated as I'm cruising around. I'm back. Oh, How are you? I'm amazing. You look amazing as always. Ah, oh, well, thank you. You want to say hi to everybody? You ready, sure. La, you ready La Diosa? <gasps> What's yeah. up, yeah. YouTube? Say hi to La Diosa, guys. La Diosa is my longest active subscriber on Hello. this channel. Hello. Remember what number I said you were that day? I think you're in the first 100. First 100. Maybe even in the first 50. Wow. It was it was nuts. I went back and looked at that list. I was like, damn, she's been on this whole sweet. time. I didn't know I was that high up on the list. Hey, it's been a while. It's been over seven years. Yeah. yeah. And you've been here for how many now? Six. Six? Oh, crap. Yeah, August to be six. Wow. So you kept following yeah. me. And I'm in the store for five. I just made the five year mark. I'm so ready to go. Yeah, it's funny. For the <laughs> amount of times I've been in this store, I'm surprised I ran into you more uh -huh. often. Hey, I need to get something to I'll see you. Take care. Are we going to be able to stick whatever we get inside? What the hell? How much longer this line just got? Jeez. Yeah. Excuse me. Albert, what's up? Forgetting peanut butter. Which, wow, since we are going to Vegas in a little over a week, my fiance says she needs two carry on bags. Please tell us unnecessary. Man, two carry ons? I mean, you're gonna be, especially when you're gonna be here, you're gonna be, you're be here in a little over a week, especially when you're gonna be here for a few days. That's a lot. I really don't know that you need that much. Yeah, one big carry on, you'd probably be okay. Come on, Fremont. I do not own any Walgreens stock. Secret stream of resorts for here on the upload to OnlyFans. I do some separate streams on my Patreon for people that are in the five dollar tier. Separate streams over there. They help me decide some of my video content. I let them choose my thumbnails. Not have any Alibaba. She is crazy. She needs pounds of makeup and literally her quote seven shoes. Shoof! I mean, you realize it's gonna be hot as all hell when you get here. Like, I'm not sure how many, how much luggage you want to be hauling around, how many pairs of shoes you want to be changing in and out. can be used with dinero para, para agua. <laughs> Gracias. Gracias para el dinero para el agua. Okay, cool. Thank you. Ah. I got gotcha. you. I still gotta get I rarely use my phone. <laughs> hey, it works great, especially if you got that 5G connection. Mm -hmm. 
This is cheaper than the chapstick I bought earlier. My chapstick earlier for about a dollar more than this. I'm doing fine. Be alright. Think we can get be alright? Yeah. Oh my god. Lots of info. Oh, I know. Fucking YouTube University. He does that. He's pretty good. Cool. Thank you. You too. Take care. And here we go. Hey, look at they finally got this intersection all finished. Less deadly now. Everyone's not getting funneled. Doesn't look like a cattle crossing as much now. Godfrey, good evening. Glenn was Johnny on the spot when I was driving back the other day and I parked the car in Baker, California. The alarm went off. Glenn said, stop, thief! People thought someone was trying to steal the car. Are you shitting me? Whoa, this is a line to get in? I don't believe this. Vitaly Malenko, $20 tip. Thank you, thank you. Alright, so Fremont is back to metal detectors and stuff. Thank you, Vitaly, for the 20 is Crump a good place to find a girlfriend? Hey, go for it. Give it a shot, man. Over the hump in Parump. Let's see. Let's just run in here. Hey, there's Braun. What is going on here? What the hell? CBD store open. Cool, cool. That's new. So the walkway open this way. I'm sorry, Bron, got your Gatorade.
Dang! Ridiculous line to get under the canopy. Alright, sorry, it looks like I missed a few super chats, guys. I'm sorry. For those of y'all throwing the tips out there. Alright, got only you can be you for the water. Caroline, 20 bucks, and Vitaly, 20 bucks. Hey, back to back 20s. Thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Caroline and Vitaly for the 20 apiece. Man, I think we have to get creative, guys, see if we can find a way around this line. What do you say? Uh, Olivia, you still on here? So just cut the line, just jump right in and be like, yep, I was here, don't worry. Why the metal detectors? I don't know, maybe they had some more problems recently. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Excuse me. Surprise! Do I say hi to everyone on here? Who am I saying hi to? Uh, I don't know, 400 strangers. But like who? Are we it's like TikToking? or YouTube. Oh, hey, boo. You like, oh, he said, hey, God. boo. And you just said hi. Olivia, do me a favor. DM me the number 39. 39. Just send me that number, We're please. doing 39? Oh, 39 something. <laughs> 39 something? There. Well, well, no, but you got to go like this. No like, kidding. You all you like, got is forehead right here. Like, you, you want way, tits in the picture. You are way something. down there. <laughs> What's your right? name? You don't want forehead. You want boobs. Uh, I'm pretty sure they won't complain. Uh, yeah, they're saying, sure, laugh my ass. Uh, like, Vegas, right? Oh, my God. What's your name? I'm Trisha. Trisha? And I'm from California. Where are you from? California. Where in California? I moved, I moved here from San Jose. I live here now. You live in Vegas now. You I came live? from San Jose. San Jose. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing in Vegas? And the, I Liv mean, living a great life. Live streaming. Yeah. People, people paying me to go out live streaming to show them what's going on. I meet women named Trisha. Eh, I mean, eh, you know. SoCal? I am. I had a hunch. I'm a little bit. I mean, I had a hunch. I'm SoCal. not freak. I just like to have a good time. Is that what you're here for? Is that what we're That's all it. here for? That's it, right? That's if you it. don't have a good time. We went to Dick's and I told him, I expect you to give me a hard time. And did they? Like Dick's, like, oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you were awesome. You were like, hey. It's just a, I, you know. Come on, people, you're adults. We're adults. I used to work at strip clubs before I did this. What'd you, what'd you I, do I, there? I, I know, boring. I know a thing or That's two. boring. Yeah, they're, they're all saying they like you. They like you, why? They do, but not. Yeah. It's fun. They obviously love the camera. They're like, she loves the camera. No, I don't. Hey, you were staring at me pretty hard when I walked by. Because it's fun. I saw you. You're like, eh. I know. You know, like, come on. Go ahead. You want to talk to him for a little bit? No, because I don't even know gadgets. You don't know gadgets? Oh my gosh. I don't. I'm not technology. -ish. Mr. Mayhem says, do you have an OnlyFans? No. Do I need one? Hey, he, he thinks you can do it okay on it. Say Trisha Rock, say she pretty. Oh, they love it. How do I can't even David? see that from here? Yeah. And you're only getting my like you need like step like ten. Here, what angle do you want? Here, here, I'll be. I got like, long arms here. Uh, it's just not my forehead. It's just not your forehead. <laughs> well, let's see. Well, I'm gonna cruise around this way. See if I can find so a have a spectacular uh, evening, we'll everybody. We may cross paths again. Maybe. Maybe. You never know. Might get a little more. It's a small world under that canopy. You know. Yeah. Take care. Excuse me. All right, let's go around this way. Excuse me. Actually, you know, let's go this way. They say the walk. Sorry, man. They say the walkway is open this way. <laughs> Vegas big other girls going. I'm not with her.
<laughs> Thanks, Olivia. Tim in Michigan says she wanted us. All 400 plus people. no matter where you're at. Dave, do you like the strip better than Fremont? Some folks like Fremont better. All right, just finish that water. Now we got stage here. Looks like it's open. Nobody's up performing yet. Good night, Imelda. I remember that before some of the football games. Web surfer guy, when I go out with the gimbal the tripod, I got 400 plus wingmen. Got all of you guys. No, not tonight, Amara. You ready to take care of that for the month? I gotta see which. Uh, hey, which which months this year are people getting three paychecks in a month? Usually it's two paychecks a month, and there's two months there you get three. What are the two months this year? Oh, excuse me. I did the Patreon one last week, America. Uh, I almost called you America, Amara. Oh man, I used to know this. July is one of the months. Is there a National Guard Humvee? No, no Humvee anywhere. Nope. find it. Uh, nobody knows. So we have July and another month that we're getting paid three times this year. Nah, Corporal Hicks, it was not a military Humvee. <laughs> not, not a Humvee at all. July and December, April, man, we're all over the place. We got July, we got December, we got April, October, January, July, and December. What the heck? 
April and October, yes to super. <laughs> All right, I'll look it up later on my own because this is not helping right now. <laughs> Ooh, guys, in case you didn't know, it is hot. It's hot in her. Plans tomorrow. Wait, it's tomorrow, Sunday. Yeah, not hiking. Uh, that's part of the plan tomorrow. I don't know, tomorrow might be movie day. What do you guys think? Should I watch a movie tomorrow? What movie should I watch? Yes. Fast nine. Legally Blonde, John Wick, one through three. anything besides they had a math view am I missing anything oh. Warren Cotton five dollar tip thank you thank you Look at that. 
stream from Toronto. I don't know where your, where your boy Justin Trudeau let me. Do another another change of route. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Con permiso. Con permiso. This song is so terrible. You don't like Journey? You realize this is America, right? I mean, you got a millennial here defending boomer music. That's how you know it's serious. Davis is made divorce be with you. Man. I may have to dip out of here. Maybe go somewhere else, man. The signal's getting tough over there. This is high from Wisconsin. Run, run. Yeah, a little bit of a strange night out here.
Jacob recovers, yes. It took me a second, but I figured out PayPal. This is God, I'm getting old. Let's see, did I get PayPal give me notifications? No, I'm trying to fix my PayPal notifications so I can actually see them during the stream, but that has not been so simple. Rafael Rojas, 20 bucks. Thank you, thank you for the 20. So you're at least the third person I had to tip a 20, man. 20 is the magic number apparently today. Not sure what's going on, but I like it. Me gusta. I think it's 420s tonight. No, oh, 420. So, guys, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it, Rafael. The rest of PayPal is way better. Hector, five bucks. Is AJ get my shadow band? What? <laughs> no. <laughs> not to my knowledge. Plus, I think there's only band or not band. Now I see you. I see the five. Thank you for the five. You can tell you're alive. Here, me voy por acá. Thank you. thank you, thank you for the five, Hector. How many people do I block? Quite a few. Quite a few. It happens. Especially in the beginning and the early years of my channel, I was blocking realtors left and right. The amount of realtors who would just try to use my comment section as like a place for them to advertise for free. It's like block, 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 get out, block, block, you get out, you get out, block, block. I've had a couple businesses try to do the same thing. I just had one recently try to do the same thing. Block, get the hell out. So how about instead of trying to hijack my comment section, just shoot me an email that's in the description of my videos and ask about doing some promotion. They called you Jacob Jacob did not get a response. Oh, well, my bad. I may have just missed it. For a moment, if you advertise their dating profiles, it might depend on how much you think it's worth. <laughs> You're welcome, man. Yeah, I think that concert's changing things up right now. John says this chat room sucks. Well, John, you don't have to be here. And as a matter of fact, you won't be anymore. Bye bye. Bye bye, John. I'm sure everyone will follow you to your own chat room. Not. Yeah, that girl's puking back there. Hey, Kishiko! Let it go, bro. Let it go. Hey, Sherry sent me 10 bucks on the Cash App. I got the notification. Well, no, the Cash App notifications work. That's awesome. 
<laughs> thank you, thank you, Sherry. So shout out from the ATL. Guys, if, I, if I'm gonna go visit somewhere, another city in the US, I'm gonna take a trip for just like two days, two, three days. Where do you guys think I should go for two or three days? Someplace in the next couple months. So it's summertime or beginning of fall. Where should I go? Miami, Nashville. New York City. San Diego, Hong Kong, Fresno. <laughs> Maybe I should just outside of California because I know California pretty well. <laughs> well, you can use this Colorado. And I've been to Denver, Denver before. I was not too impressed. I liked Aurora, but not Denver. Reno, Melissa's keeping in Nevada, Phoenix. Been to Phoenix twice in my life. Miami, New York City. Eugene says, no question. Nashville, okay. Amaris says, Jersey. Yeah. I don't know, man. We should start getting up there in that East Coast area. Y'all get kind of rude. I'm not going to lie. I am speaking from experience. Did not make the best impression on me when I was over there in the D.C. area. New York, Reno, Orlando. Two, two, three, two pretty different choices. Miami would be good. Key West to New Orleans. Lake Tahoe. I've been to Lake Tahoe in like over a decade. Albuquerque. Port Huron, Atlantic City. I got nobody said anywhere in the Northwest. Nobody said Portland. Nobody said Seattle. <laughs> Sherry says you never visit Atlanta. I have not, Sherry. Other than just a layover in the airport, I have not. Orum? Been there. Oaxaca? I haven't been to Oaxaca yet. Juan, a mesqua. Jacob, please give a shout out to my daughters, Jasmine and Jayla. We'll shout out to the daughters with Juan tonight. San Francisco or Chicago? I've, I've been to San Francisco many a times in my life. I've worked there. So. Although, uh, you know, in San Francisco, I've actually, I've never been to Alcatraz. Chicago, I flew in out of there for basic training. I got, I got to see the city a little bit one night. And that was about it in Chicago. Dallas, Texas. Actually, I've been, every time I've been to Texas, it's been for some other event. Once for a football game and once for uh, military. And at either time, I didn't get to do much when I was there, so... Experience the Southern Charm. Gulf Shores, Alabama. Katie, you said Portland. Damn, you guys got all kinds of suggestions. Chicago is beautiful with tons of beautiful people. And bullets and drive-bys. Oh yeah, I'm sure there's I'm sure there's beautiful people in Chicago too. It can't be all drive-bys every day, can it? Utah, I've been to Utah several times for sport and for pleasure. Not talking about South Chicago. <laughs>
Alcatraz smaller than you think. Oregon Coast. I've been to Jacksonville, Oregon. I don't know, uh, I don't think it's quite on the coast. I think it's close. It's not like Coos Bay. Let's go to Morocco. See if I can find some distant, distant, distant relatives in North Africa. Maybe. Maybe. Definitely more than three days in Morocco. Hell yeah. First, it'll take me two days just to get there. Holy shit, it's hot. Sweating it up and to get home and shower. No walking to cheer on the bucks. You saw Mujeres Mexico? Tonight, steak. I gotta get home and cook steak. You know, here's a question I'll ask you guys. Speaking of visiting cities, different parts of the country, I was saying earlier about the East Coast, right? People on the East Coast being rude. Remember when I was there several months ago? My experiences were kind of so-so. Where do you guys think the rudest people in the country are? I, I think it's gotta have to be up in that general area. New York, New Jersey, Boston, D.C. I know Southerners are supposed to be known for their charm, right? The Midwest, they're supposed to be overly polite. Northwest, Portland, Seattle, they're just depressed. West Coast, supposed to be all laid back. Los Angeles, Hollywood executives, NYC. Virginia, really? See, when I was over in D.C., people were like, oh, you got to go to Virginia for people to be nicer. They got a little more Southern, Southern hospitality there. Good question. You wouldn't know. Come to Australia. I haven't been there in a long time. Since I was in Sydney. Uh, the DJI. Oh, yeah, the uh, fourth version. Davis is where chill in Cali. Some are, some are not. El Grove? <laughs> El Grove of all places, huh? I never thought somebody would just say El Grove out of nowhere as far as rudest people. So like, where are the rudest people in America? Uh, Ponderosa, California. That's definitely it. Ponderosa. Uh, Loomis. Way up in Loomis. There you go. <laughs> like, <laughs> such a small place you would not expect. I would expect you to say Sacramento. You're gonna go real small, they got Folsom. Folsom is where the rude people are, right? Fairfield, California, and Santa Rosa. What's because Fairfield's in no man's land? Fairfield and Vallejo, they're like that gray area dividing line between like Sacramento area and the Bay Area. You know, like some orphan cities. Scottsdale, Arizona. Guys, I'm just gonna quit and get a job at Commonwealth. If I get a job at Commonwealth, you guys come and visit me. This is, yep, this is, yeah, I might. Just don't be like, just don't be like those guys one time. One place I was working at, they recognized me from my videos and then they gave me a fake ID to try to get inside. And I'm like, bro, I tell stories of people doing this stupid shit and you came up here and did this? Yeah, bro, I like your videos. They gave me his fake ID from, uh, where was it from? It's probably Florida or Ohio or Maryland. There are a handful of states we got a lot for fake IDs. They were usually states on the East Coast Maybe Midwest. Okay. K 
KJ certified five dollar tips. Hey, dude, what's new and exciting in your life? Be safe out there. KJ, what's new is I'm about to take my ass home, cook some steak. I am going to shower because man, it is hot out her. Woo, I showered earlier, man, but you need another one after this. So thank you for the five, KJ. Hope life is treating you well, whatever state you're traveling to this time, wherever you're watching from. Woo! Probably chilling tomorrow. I do, give you guys a heads up, I do have some plans for something on Monday you guys may like. You guys, I mean, you guys will like it. It's all planned. If everything goes to plan for Monday, you guys, you guys will like it. So it's going to be, it'll be in the evening time. So somewhere around 7, 8 p.m., somewhere in that time slot on Monday. So if everything goes to plan, it'll be really cool. You guys are going to like it. I'll tell you that much, okay, since you guys are here right now. All right, y'all. It is hot. If I didn't say it earlier, it's hot. And uh, I'm going to get out of here, go home, drink some water, make some steak. People enjoying enjoying the ride hell yeah it's the party crew right here good night yeah the guy was trying to jump on the ride I was like, no, you can't get on. <laughs> the guy tried to jump on the ride, and the driver's like, dude, bro, you can't get on this. Oh, that's great. All right, guys, on that note, I'm going to sign off tonight. You guys take care of yourselves. Be safe. Hope you are happy. You are healthy. Be well, and I will see you guys again soon.